Hi, I'm James Walker. I'd like to take a little time and tell you about the latest release of the Lullabot learning series, Drupal Module Development. In this video, we start from the very beginning of module developing and walk all the way through to contributing a module on Drupal.org. Along the way, we cover all the main highlights you need to know when setting out to begin module development with Drupal. So over the course of the video, we're going to start from the very beginning with nothing and add all of the files and all of the functions and the code that we need to implement our module. So we'll begin with the simple metadata contained in .info files just to tell Drupal about the module that we're writing. From there, we'll create a .module file. Inside a .module, we'll have a look at Drupal's event system and implementing hooks to tie into other Drupal functionality. From there, we'll move on to other major Drupal subsystems, such as the theme system, and the menu system. The menu system is where we can add new URLs to expose forms and other functionality to our end users. We'll also have a look at the Drupal database system. From defining the new tables that our module needs to getting those tables installed and uninstalled and even providing updates for when our data model changes over time. Finally, We'll have a look at Drupal's form system. In Drupal, we use an array structure to define forms that can be used both for rendering and processing. We'll have a look at this entire life cycle and even how to change and alter existing forms from within Drupal. Along the way, we'll be looking at best practices during module development and at special topics such as security and making sure that your module and your code is secure and keeping your end users secure. Finally, We'll look at the process of contributing our code back to the wider Drupal community and how to maintain that code once it's there to accept patches and feature requests from the community at large. To illustrate the examples, we're going to be building a module that we call Stalker Module. Stalker Module is a slight variation on the, t on the standard hit counter model. What Stalker Module does is as we browse around the Drupal site and look at a user's profile, it keeps a hit counter of how many times we've viewed that user's profile page. As you can see here, we've viewed this user's profile five times. Once we're collecting that data, we can start showing pages such as top stalkers. We'll also be creating a simple settings page for our module that includes some thresholds and other options that we can use to tune the behavior of our module. Drupal modules are the key to getting exactly the experience you want for your users on your website. Whether it's minor tweaks to existing functionality or entire new applications, Drupal module development is the key to getting you there. Head on over to store.lullabot.com to find more information about this video and all of the videos in the Lullabot Learning Series.